Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to make sweet tamales as a dessert. Thank you for coming to my channel. We're going to get started. So this is a recipe to make sweet tamales. So we're going to add to our sweet tamales, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of um, cinnamon powder. We're going to add a cup or a cup and a half of raisins, depending on how much you like raisins. And then you add three cups of sugar, granulated sugar, a full cup. We cut them into little pieces, a full cup of pineapple. And then we have cinnamon, vanilla, and one half teaspoon of baking powder. Now we're gonna add all that to our masa to make our sweet tamales. So we're gonna start mixing our masa. So we add a little bit at a time. Then we are gonna add a cup and one fourth of um, melted butter. So right here we're adding butter and we're adding lard. So it's about a cup and one fourth of butter with lard. Forgot to put this thing up. So see now we're adding the butter and we added lard and we're gonna add one cup of sugar. So for every pound and a half you're adding at a time, you could start adding your pineapple. Let me just use my hands, I washed them. So we're adding our pineapple. So start mixing. And then we're gonna add our half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we start adding more masa into it. So we don't want to add all the masa at one, at, at one time because it's too much, it's too heavy for the machine. So we're going to start adding a little bit at a time until we have this six pounds in there. So now we're adding more masa. Now that we added more masa, we need to add more liquid. They won't get too hard for the machine to mix. So we're gonna add more. This is some butter with a little, with a half a half a cup of lard for our sweet tamales. So we already added one cup of sugar. Now we're gonna add our second cup of sugar to this mixture. So our sweet tamales. These tamales are like it's like a dessert. So it's not something you eat with your main course. We treat it as a dessert. So this is smart pineapple. And now we're gonna add more masa. So in total, what we're, we're gonna use right now to cook our tamales, we're gonna use six pounds of masa. So we're adding more masa. We're almost done adding all our masa. So this is our six pounds of masa. So we added already two cups of sugar. Now we're gonna add another cup of sugar. So in total, three cups of sugar. Because it's a, it's a dessert. Now we're gonna finish adding all our pineapple that we cut in the beginning. of our pineapple. We use the whole pan. The whole pan of pineapple. And we're gonna mix our masa for about it's a, it takes about three minutes to be fully mixed. So once our masa is done we'll start um, making our tamales. And then we're gonna add another cup of sugar. So in total, I think we added four cups of sugar. So it's a, it's a dessert. So it's our sweet tamale made with pineapple and raisins. So now we're gonna add one half a cup of raisins in the mixture. Another 
and half a cup. So you can start adding raisins depending on your on your what you like. If you only like a little bit of raisins, you could add one cup. But if you really like raisins, uh, you could add, add another cup. So this is a cup and a half already that we added of raisins. I like raisins, so I'm gonna add another half a cup. So in total, my tamales are gonna have two cups of raisins. And now we mix it for about three minutes. And after it's fully mixed, then our masa is gonna be ready to make our sweet tamales. So you put hot water and about two gallons of hot water and we're gonna put our corn husk to soak for our tamales. So they can get soft. Let them in there for about 15 minutes to soak. Then we're gonna rinse them and take them out. So now that our masa is ready, we're gonna start to make our sweet tamales. So these are the sweet ones. So we wrap them up a little bit different from the meat ones. So we put our masa on them and then we cover them. You cover them like this, and then we cut some other corn husk, and we tie them like a candy so we know this ones are the sweet ones. So we tie them from both sides. And this is how we know this is our dessert tamale, the sweet ones. They're made out of cinnamon, vanilla, sugar, raisin, and pineapple. Some people don't like raisins, so some people make them out of just pineapple some people make them out of just raisins because they don't like pineapple but we add both because we both we all like um we like both we like the sweet ones and the we like the pineapple ones and we like the raisin ones some people make um <clears throat> vanilla flavor um vanilla flavor ones with strawberries and they color them pink with um food coloring you just add some red dye to it and they make them pink and those are the strawberry ones. But we don't normally eat strawberries because um, we prefer the, um, the ones that have raisins and pineapple. So that's it. This is how we make our sweet tamale desserts for our tamales making of sweet tamales. And we tie them on both sides. Just remember the corn husk have hairs, so that's why we wash them. But sometimes, you know, you don't get rid of one or two little hairs. But it's corn hair. It's not human hair. Some people get scared and they're like, oh my God, I have a hair in my tamale, some human hair. But it's not. It's actually the corn husk. When you um, open a corn, when you take off the husk from the corn, it has corn hair in it. So that's what it is. So that's why when we put our corn husks to um, soak and we rinse them off, we always try to the best our viabilities to take away the hairs of the corn. Because when you cook them, people see that they think it's something else. But it's corn, corn hair. So see, here is uh, our sweet tamales. That's how we make them. So you just get one scoop or two scoops, depending on how big you wanna make your sweet tamale. And this is our dessert tamale, so you just wrap it up and you tie it from both sides. And you just choose any, any small corn husk that you're not gonna use because it's too small. And that one you cut it into little strips like this and you tie it from both sides. And that's how we make our sweet tamale. And that's it. And then you keep on going until you're done with all your masa. And then you put them to cook. Let's see, one scoop, two scoops, and then we wrap it up. Let's see. And then you tie it from both sides. And this is our sweet tamale corn. Um, sweet tamale, tamale, tied on both sides. And this is it. Um, 
The only thing that I left out is the mixer. When you're mixing your masa, your mixer could only go to level number two in mixing. So you go to level one and two. You can go over level number two because it's not recommended for the machine for you to mix masa um, higher than level two. And that's the instructions on the mixer, so I just follow the instructions. And that's it. You start making your sweet tamales until you're done, adding all your masa to the corn husk, and then you put them to cook. And this is our sweet tamale recipe. So here we're gonna put our sweet tamales to cook. So we put them all around. This is our sweet tamales. I'm gonna put them to cook. It takes about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. We'll put them to cook and we'll come back and check on them, see how they're doing. We're gonna cover it. to put a piece of foil paper. I like to put foil paper on top just to cover them so all the steam so they could cook evenly so I cover them well. All the way make sure they're fully covered so none of the steam to come out. Fold it in there. And there it is. Put another piece across just so it could cook evenly and the steam doesn't come out. And the tamales will cook with all the steam in there. Once you're done fully putting the foil paper on it, then you could cover them. And I cover them and then I go the extra mile and I put a, a pot that's heavy on top of the lid so it won't release none of the steam. There you go. And now we're going to come back and check on our tamales after an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. We'll check. You can hear it when it stops. When it starts to cook, you can hear the water steaming in there. But once you don't hear water, then that means your tamales may need some water to be added. I normally don't add water, but sometimes if you put your heat too high, the water would um, steam faster and dry up. So if you put them on medium high, You'll be okay, but you keep an eye on your tamales. You could always hear the water steaming. We'll come back and check on them. So now our tamales are ready. So we're gonna check our tamales. Let's put it on a plate. Here we go. Let's look at our sweet tamale. Oh yes, look at this. It's ready to go. See? It's delicious. That's our sweet tamale. Check it out, look. Oh yes, it's cooked. Ready to go. Tasting. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. 
at us. Look at all the steams coming out. The raisins are fully cooked in the masa. Delicious. <laughs>